What's cracking, guys? Welcome to the Christmas episode or special or Honda re. Let's let's uh, let's just roll the intro. What's cracking, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Honda recap what's up to everybody watching in premiere right now how you all doing merry christmas i hope you guys are having an awesome week over the holiday spending time with family and friends and everybody else you have around you if this is the first time you're tuning into the honda recap welcome essentially what i'm trying to do here is go over everything that's going on in the honda universe on youtube and trying to bring it down and boil it over in one cohesive little episode so that you can stay involved with the community and never feel left behind Honda Recap airs every single Monday night at 8 p.m. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell so you're notified every Monday night at 8 o'clock when this thing airs. Make sure to hit that thumbs up too, guys. That way everybody out there knows it was an awesome episode and they tune in as well. With that said, yet again, I want to say everybody happy, merry Christmas. Hope you guys had a great week over these holidays and, you know, had a great year with family and friends and projects and everything else that's been going on. I haven't had too much time this week to create anything right here. I had a birthday on the 19th, so I kind of did a little something for that. And then over the weekend, we got family dinners and all that crazy stuff going on. But Yet again, I want to be here Monday nights, just you guys hanging out, going over what's been going on here on YouTube, even though everybody also out there, it looks like has been having fun, but there has been progress out there in the YouTube universe. So we're going to sit here, have fun and go over what that was. Before we get started, I want to throw out one more thing. And that is that if you don't have time to actually sit here on YouTube and watch the Honda recap, you can now listen to it anywhere. You can listen to podcasts right now. Now, uh, Honda Vlogs Recap is now on Spotify, Google Music, anywhere else that you actually sit and you want to listen to a podcast or listen to the recap because you don't have time to watch it here on YouTube, but you're driving to work and you have time to listen, definitely check out on Spotify, the Honda Podcast, Honda Vlogs, just search it, you'll definitely find it. Anywhere else podcasts exist, I'm there. All right, guys, to kick this off, we got Adam Ivel. If you've been following his channel, you do know that he picked up an EP3 Type R and it looks very nice. In his latest video, he actually did a sponsorship video with this company that helps dip wheels, basically restore them, whether or not you need to refinish or repaint or whatever it is you actually want to do to the wheels. It was really cool. Adam knew that, you know what, I want to take these gold looking wheels off the EP3, take them down there, get them refinished in silver and it came out very, very well. In an older episode, he actually went over a lot of the stuff in the car that he needs to replace, that he wants to fix, that he doesn't like the wheels being one of them so it's really cool that somebody hit you up man and was just like hey let's work together let's fix this issue that you have and Adam just you know what that's what he does gets things done found time in his busy schedule to get these wheels off take them down there get them refinished and they came out great little by little I already know this EP3 is going to turn out great next up we got La Tommy Law out there getting the K20 swap all put together. The last finishing touches are getting on the motor right now. I think they're about ready to turn it on. I looked on Instagram not too long ago, and I actually think you got the car running, moving under its own power. You got a lot of other things you have to do, but it's really awesome to know that the wiring is done, the plumbing's done, everything else that surrounds the engine is in, and the car is moving little by little under its own power. That's really great that you guys have just been helping out as a group effort on the weekends, just trying to knock this out i can't wait to see the first start video and just see how fun it is to drive on the street after that we got dana young static out there getting a new turbo for yep the ef drag car if you've been following along you do know the turbos actually kind of got blown out after the past 2018 run but he got a new one put it on the car it's running great i'm not sure if he's going to go out there and get it fine-tuned a little bit for the new turbo i'm sure he will he's been talking about wanting to raffle this car off to fund the 2019 project so if you're interested in that definitely check out his latest video next up we got hunter tuned really cool to see an all-wheel drive turbo build on the channel it's his buddies he's actually known this guy for quite some time there was a video that came out a long time ago called like sleeper honda beats evo and uh, it was actually really cool to see the creator of that video on the channel again. The wagon looks very, very clean. The video is actually really cool because uh, the owner of the car has like a raised pedal assembly so he can drive his car. And it was really cool to see um, the intricacy that went into actually having to make those. And it's something that I would have never thought about on like 
the different variations and pros and cons of different styles, but it was really cool that Hunter was able to just kind of show how the whole pedal assembly worked for the wagon. So if you're interested in that, if you like turbo all wheel drive wagons, definitely check out Hunter Toon's latest video. Following that, we got Chris Sadowski on his way, learning how to paint cars on his own, specifically the Del Sol bumper starting small. But ever since he got help painting the engine bay of the DA, he, has, he thought to himself, you know what? I can probably do this too. So the Del Sol's front bumper, he's needed to repaint for quite some time. So we went to Harbor Freight, he got a gun, he got the paint, mixed it himself, and actually went at it painting the front bumper of the Del Sol. I'm really happy that you're taking the time to kind of restore the finish of the outside of the car. The front bumper was the only thing that actually stood out from the whole car. I think it was black this entire time, but it's really cool to see how much effort you're putting into the car, getting it all painted. I know the B20 VTEC is sitting there on the side. I know you want to get it in the car. That's going to happen very, very soon. And if you guys have been following along, Chris Sadowski, channel for a while you do know that he's had a red ej1 that i believe he talked about about getting a new motor for i want to say it's a mini me swap but that's going to be really fun to get in the car really fun to drive around and whatever you have planned to do with that car it's going to turn out great next up we got humble performance these guys have been cranking out tons and tons of content and i really love the quality that they're putting out this latest video is actually about the budget turbo Integra that they have right now. It was really cool. The majority of the video is them assembling the ITR block that's going into the car. Very well done. They explained everything and you just got to actually see step by step. And I love seeing builds like this because even though, you know, there's not too much talking when you're an enthusiast and you're just watching what's being done, you can just... You can watch it for hours and it's really cool to see every step one by one. And if anything did come out that was a little tricky, you guys talk about it. And that's really what I love about Humble Performance. Following that, we got Steven Ocasio out there with all his friends in New York, everyone deciding, hey, let's bring our cars out, our race cars or our dailies, whatever we have. And like typical fashion, I think everybody's car broke down. Um, it's really funny, you know, the pros and cons of that. I really love the fact that all of you just got together. You're all out there trying to hang out. And then it's also just funny that you all like, literally are sitting there like, man, like, of course things would just break all the time, but nothing stopped you guys. Whether it was on the street, you knew we just have to fix this right now. And just the camaraderie of your group of friends is, uh, is amazing, man. So I love the fact that you want to vlog everything. Everyone's down to just help everybody's car get on the road. Uh, I appreciate friendships like that and I'm really happy that you're down there just videotaping what you have. Following that we got Froman Garage. Shane getting his car ready for the YouTube challenge. You have Delta cams. I believe Delta actually has a deal out there for the YouTube challenge so if you're interested and you're going to the Honda YouTube challenge uh, don't quote me on this but I'm pretty sure if you contact uh, Ron or Jeremy from Autosauce or even SP Tuning. I believe they worked some sort of deal with Delta Cams. Um, if you mention YouTube Challenge, you might actually get a little deal if you want to run with those guys. Uh, if I'm wrong, definitely let me know in the comments below or in Premiere if you guys are watching right now. But Shane actually got the cams in his car. He uh, had to do a little bit more work on the head gasket. He actually made it a little thinner from an OEM head gasket to gain a little bit more compression in the Frankenstein motor that he has right now. So it's really cool to see you putting out content and you're getting the car back on the road it's almost ready i think the youtube challenge is somewhere in february 22nd or 23rd so nobody's really down to the wire but everybody is trying to get their car absolutely together because you have about a month to get driving maybe take it to the drag strip once or twice to make sure everything is actually put together otherwise Props, man. I'm really happy to see how much effort you're putting into the car, even though you have a full-time job. Following that, we got Baytech, the K20 swapped FD in the works right now. One of the later videos he has, he actually sprayed the engine bay to get it one uniform color. That's really awesome to know. In the latest video, he's actually trying to modify the sway bars because they're not really going to work for him. He actually needs to make new mounts, so the sway bar is going to work with the setup, and I believe the OEM mounts are actually pretty fragile. They're just kind of sheet metally, so they don't really hold up too much. That's why a lot of people have been making billet mounts for them. But I'm really happy that you're not stopping. The grind is real. Definitely check out Baytech's channel because you know what? He's going to make an FD 3S, but Honda powered. You, you can't beat that. Following that, we got VHB engines with Chris giving a little discussion slash documentary of the build that he's got going on right now, which is a P2PO build, Vitara. Vitara build. He's built many of these, but I really love the fact because obviously it's VHB engines. He's going to go a little bit more in depth from his philosophy to actual fact of, you know, what it's going to take, the power it's going to make, and just how well these engines actually produce power. So shout out to you, man. Really happy that you're pumping out these videos. P2PO is being used in a lot of blocks right now, and it's just, it's proven power and not too expensive if you're trying to make that power. 
under boost. Another guy out there for the YouTube challenge, we got Street Tuner Builds. This guy has his EG all together. In his latest video, he showed you kind of everything he had to do on the ground. And at the end, he's got a little special something to show you that the car actually is running perfectly just how we want. So props to you, man. I know you've been putting out videos when you can and just really happy to know that you got the car all together. It was literally all apart too. So the frustration of having to take your car apart and like, oh, I hope I get everything back together. But props to you, like I said earlier, man, everything is back together and I know this car is going to work out great. Following that, we got Budget Racing. I talked about these guys last week with the air filter versus velocity stack and how the videos were just rip after rip after rip. And you know what? Literally rip his motor. Guys, it's done. Uh, I believe this, the EL just couldn't handle it really and uh, the motor is coming out. But really cool. Again, cool group of friends. You got like four or five guys who are just taking apart this engine. You already have a new one that's going to go in. So props to you guys. I'm really happy that you put out that video and more excited that even though uh, you not through a rod and the motor's just done. You're just you're gonna keep going and your friends were there even though it was freezing uh, Really interesting that you guys have like a fireplace in the garage, but um I think that's just Canada, I'm assuming, because it's cold there. So you don't really get that too often here in California. But with that said, I'm really happy that, you know, nothing's going to stop you guys. You got a cool group of friends. You're just pulling the motor, getting a new one in, and we're going to get back to the streets. Following that, we got Boosted Boys out there in Colorado putting in tons and tons of work at the new shop. I'm really happy that the room has been working up out there. Pedro's putting in tons of work. It's amazing how fast that guy's works. But you know what? When you really know what you're doing and he's just focused and everybody else just has one main thing they need to do, everybody is knocking it out. It doesn't matter if it's your trade or not. Everyone's just trying to chip in because the faster the shop is 100%, the faster you guys can get to just enjoying what you guys want to do. And that's building and dynoing cars. So it's really awesome to know that like Brent and Kyle and everybody out there is just jamming trying to get this shop all together. In this latest video, we actually see that Honda Roo is going to go through a transformation. Yet again, the motor is out. I believe they're sending the block out to get CSS fully built. And I think they're trying to hit like 800 horsepower, but you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if you guys are getting close to a thousand. It just seems like something you guys would want to do. All right, last but not least, we got DIY Mike out in Las Vegas hitting IFO. The past couple videos have been great because they've been trying to build these cars, the Pink Widow and everybody else, just trying to see how much power they can actually get. If we remember, the Pink Widow was supposed to be the budget 10 second car. So it's been going through a lot of iterations. It's trying to actually get there. But for the most part, they're doing a really awesome job. They've got a bunch of cars they've been working on, kind of just seeing what these guys actually do outside of DIY Mike as a YouTube channel. So I've really been loving that content. But for the most part, really happy that you guys haven't stopped. You're out there at IFO, just test and tune, seeing what you guys can do, and you're just constantly rebuilding. So if you guys aren't following along, definitely check out DIY Mike. They got a bunch of cars that they're working on personally and for the channel. All right, guys, with that said, that's it for the Honda recap. It's been a quick week with the holidays and my birthday and a bunch of other stuff going on this week. So haven't had too much time to create content. And I know that a lot of people out there are with their families and friends and just kind of celebrating. So YouTube videos aren't as a plentiful as they used to be right now, but we got New Year's on the way. That's going to be really fun. I'll probably see you guys in the new year. Definitely see you guys next week. Just want to thank you all for 2018, how much this community has grown, how many people are here right now. Thank you to everybody in Premiere right now. What's up to you guys? I'm really happy that you're always here. With that said, we got a lot of big plans for 2019. I can probably go over that a little bit more next week, but definitely head over to hauntavlogs.com slash shop. Pick yourself up a sticker or a shirt or a hoodie. Definitely support the channel. I got a lot of big plans heading out for 2019. Thank you all for tuning in for yet again another episode of the Honda Recap. Merry Christmas, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.